Making a tinfoil hat again, are we, Luke? Yeah. Care to tell me why? Well, last week we were talking about naming animals after food. Casserole. <laughs> Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Lasagna. Tray bake. <laughs> oh, little tray bake. <laughs> and days later, I learned that Far Cry 5 will star a bear named Cheeseburger. Can pet him. I'm gonna yeah. pet him. He's the best friend oh, cheeseburger. that I could ever have. So, you know, Ubisoft is reading our thoughts, basically. Or they were. Glad I got this finished before they took my other good idea, the quasi-religious teachings of the prophet Father Joseph Seed. Luke, that's, that's literally the plot of Far Cry 5. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Show of the weekend. Still good. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's, 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 hang on, hang Careful on. Careful with it's, it. It's, uh, it's a little, uh... Careful. Well, now there is. <laughs> the thoughts will be come through. <laughs> oh. It's a weak point. Of course. That's where the thoughts escape. <laughs> what a fool I've been. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm safe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take this off for now. And, um, <laughs> Let's let some Let's thoughts. Let's share some thoughts. Just flow out yeah. of the brain hole. Because <laughs> you have been playing Far Cry Five. Ooh. What did you think? Uh, I really enjoyed it actually. Yeah. The main thing that I thought actually, as soon as I picked up the controller we were playing on on PS4, yeah. was that compared to other Far Cry games, which are always fun to play and very well built and very well put together, mm -hmm. this one just felt very, very smooth in the right. in the way that you move around the world. Yeah. So you, I, I, I feel like they may have slightly accelerated the character since yeah. like Far Cry 3 and, and 4 maybe. Just getting around is just a bit swifter, mm -hmm. jumping and things. It feels a little bit more like, you know how in Skyrim you move at a slightly unrealistic but yeah. pace, but it's good for an open yeah. world RPG. Felt a little bit more like that, like you were just kind of gliding around everywhere, <laughs> mantling on things and, you know, yeah. sliding down the... Yeah, slidey, zip wire. Slide, zip wire, zip wire. I actually just found just moving around yeah. to be very, very enjoyable. I was quite surprised actually when I went on a zip wire the last time I played and like landed fine and didn't just go poof into there because you're going yeah. quite fast. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing that I enjoyed about it was just remembering how good stealth feels in the Far Cry games. And you know that I don't really enjoy stealth at all because it takes ages. Uh, that's what no one understands about stealth. It takes forever. Well, I mean, that's why I never finish any games. <laughs> it's because I enjoy stealth and like, yeah, Dishonored series. You met, honestly, I spent so many hours in that game because I'm like, no one's see me. <laughs> playing a stealth game and doing it like genuinely stealthily, you may as well be looking at a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Like, do you ever wonder, <laughs> has the game frozen? Because I've just been like, you no. know, any minute now, no. guard's going to come round. I think no. 10, 15 minutes should do it. <laughs> but Far Cry makes stealth fun because there's just something about like lowering yourself into some <laughs> cool grass. <laughs> that is With those eyes. I was reminded that when I was playing Far Cry 3, yeah. I just loved being in that jungle yeah. environment and just being like, <laughs> just like, like the theme of that game was, was madness yeah. and, and like succumbing to the madness. Yeah. And so I really enjoyed kind of role playing it in my mm. head, just being like, become the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> just like crawling around, <laughs> ready to kill. I was reminded when I went into like the little stealthy yeah. and, and stuff like that when I was playing. Uh, of how much fun that can be in a Far Cry game. I think the crucial thing about that is that when inevitably your stealth goes really, really wrong, it's still entirely possible it, to... You can still yeah. complete it, it it's not yeah, game over. It doesn't feel like the game is sort of telling you off when it all yeah. goes sideways. We were playing a new area of the map that we hadn't seen before. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping that it might be a little bit more different to yeah. stuff that we've seen before, which was this US heartland kind of sort of like big rural stretches, beautiful like big fields mm -hmm. and, and like mountains and stuff. And the, the region that we were playing is a lot more mountainous. Yeah. But I was sort of hoping for snow. No, yeah. or for it to just feel a little bit more different. It's a twist because the reason why it's called Far Cry is mm. because it's a far cry from home and you're re the real world. That's that's why it's called that. So like, is it? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's quite interesting of them to set it in America and be like, hey, this happens in our own backyard and like, because 
there are some weird things in the world and it's not all just like in the kind of more what we perceive as exotic places. Yes, yeah. Uh, there's plenty of weird stuff in our own back gardens. <laughs> yeah, I'm all for it, and there's a lot of stuff that you can that you can do with that yeah. s scenery. Bears. Bears. Well, speaking of bears, <gasps> let's talk about cheeseburger. What? A little bear that I like to call cheeseburger. <laughs> oh. That's right, there's a bear in it called cheeseburger. <laughs> So any criticisms you may level at the game are almost rendered moot. By off. Cheese Bag. No, don't change his name, Alan. No need to pun. No bear puns necessary. The bear is called Cheeseburger. You can't, you can't best that name. And you can't best that bear. What a bear he is. You know he's called Cheeseburger. He didn't come up and go, hi, I'm Cheeseburger, did he? No, but <laughs> animals have names and no animal has ever introduced itself. <laughs> but so like, sorry, I didn't mean to be so flippant. There. Bit of parrots introduced yeah. I had a parrot call me a sexy lady once, and I was like, "You're the but, only person who will ever get away with saying that to me." And not a person. I was in a like a place where they were looking after parrots when people go away on holiday, oh, walking good, around like. Yeah. It's no longer fit to be in society. If you do find Cheeseburger, approach him with a salmon and he'll be, you know, putty in your hands, he'll be, he'll be dead chuffed. Yeah. Why do you take a salmon to him rather than an actual cheeseburger? Not because he can't like eat cheeseburgers because diabetes. he's got diabetes. Oh. <laughs> played a little bit of co-op as well and, and mm -hmm. that's really fun. It's definitely more fun than just doing the single player stuff. You can play yeah. a whole game in co-op. <laughs> He was off to Montreal uh, working on it. I think uh, so. Yeah, 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 because I was just there. Don't mess with a mocap cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my word. Have you ever tried attaching ping pong balls to a mocap cheeseburger? <laughs> 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 well, good news, we got the mocap of him savaging a team. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get it again? Yeah, agree. <laughs> Where's the, the intern? <laughs> One of the ping pong balls fell off. <laughs> so just think about that when you're playing the game. How did they get this motion capture? <laughs> In conclusion, it's lots of fun. I'd be lying if I said I was excited about it as I have been about previous Far Cry games, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely going to play it, definitely going to give the, the setting a chance, if only because it just feels like, it just it just feels good to play. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just a, it feels like a very solidly built, very satisfying game. And I'm really hoping that I can play the whole thing through in co-op because yeah. I think that would be rad. <gasps> I should come around. Actually, I don't think you could play it, like, round. I think it's online. Online. Yeah. I'll stay home. We can play you'll, it. You'll stay home. <laughs> <laughs> don't come round. We can play Far Cry. Gaming. <laughs> Bring you people together. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, from one Ubisoft thing to another. Oh, my gosh. My favourite, Assassin's Creed. There's been a few things coming out for it recently, so I'm going to quiz you on all things Assassin's Creed Origins. Luke, yes. as we have seen on this channel over the past few weeks, uh, there have been a lot of delicious new things for owners of Assassin's Creed Origins for them to get their teeth into. So there's different DLC, so the Hidden Ones has already come out. There is Discovery Tour mode, which uh, it's, your learning. it's a free add-on, which is the best thing, and also teaches you all about Ancient Egypt and makes it accessible for people who aren't old enough to play the main game. Um, and there's also the upcoming Curse of the Pharaohs. Yes. Um, all of these adding way, way, way more hours of playtime to the game, which means that I will never finish it. What are you doing to me, Ubisoft? I will never see daylight again. Uh <laughs> daylight's overrated. <laughs> if you play a game set in a sunny location, you get vitamin D through the screen. Yeah. That's just a fact. But Luke, I have some questions for you yeah. regarding the Assassin's Creed DLCs that have been out or are about to come out. Cool. First one for the DLC, The Hidden Ones. Mm. Uh, it follows on from the end of the Assassin's Creed origin story. Luke. Yes. What would, if you were in The Hidden Ones, what would your job be? So remind me what The Hidden Ones are. So it's, the like hidden the, ones it's like the Assassin's Creed. Are the Assassin's, the, the Assassin's Brotherhood, Brotherhood, but it's right? the early days. Right. And they're in Egypt mostly yeah. and the surrounding areas. So what's my, what's my job in The Assassin's Gang? Uh, 
water carrier? <laughs> oh, um, do you know, I've always fancied having to go on a grindstone. Right. So I would be chief weapons sharpener. So you'd be a we weapons person. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. there's people who kind of look up after all the documents and then people who go into researching. Looking after the people documents. People who send people Boring. out on missions and Boring. get all the information. Boring. But you just want to go. Yeah, I think that would be fun. <laughs> I imagine you'd be left alone most of the day. Yeah. It'd be nice, like sharpen up a sword. You'd probably mm -hmm. sing to yourself. But it could come back in and you'd be like, got it, chief. Yeah. Here you go, have a good old slice with this. Yeah. And he'd be like, you have done very well, Luke. And I'd be like, <laughs> just doing my job. Okay, well, on to another DLC. Curse of the Pharaohs. Yeah, this is the good one. Is the... It's got ghosts in it. Yeah, it's set in the afterlife and players will come across the people-headed birds, which are most likely uh, representations of Ba, which are uh, representations of the soul. It's like a bird so yeah. with a human head. So it's like a soul. And it's, it's, a, it's the soul, soul flying away into okay. the afterlife. And it's most likely named after the noise you make after seeing one. Go, bah. <laughs> that's, that's not true. That's pretty much the noise Jane and I made when we saw that. How's um, it spelled? Is it just B-A? B-A. But Luke, mm. most of these representations tend, tend to have hawks or eagles as the main body of the bah. Okay. But Luke, if you were flying your way to the afterlife, what bird form would your body take? <laughs> well, do you even really need to ask, Ellen? Do you even really need to ask? I think, you can, I think you can answer this for me. Is it a flamingo? <laughs> no. Yes, obviously. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Very graceful I, bird. I Very elegant. <laughs> Flamingo. Yeah, I'd be yeah. a flamingo. <laughs> it represents your tallness as well. And yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's an elegant bird yeah. with a great inner strength. Yeah. And a great outer strength. <laughs> also, Luke, you and Andy recently took part in one of the many tours available in Discovery Tour Ancient Egypt. Yeah. The free add on for AC Origins that is also available as a standalone game on PC. So, Luke, I want to see how much you remember of the mummification tour. You and Andy went on. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And you talked all the way through it. <sighs> so, first question. Mm -hmm. What is the first step? They have to die. <laughs> Am I wrong? Te technically, yes. But <laughs> One point. <laughs> I'll, gi I'll give you a clue. Oh, rub the body. Uh, shampoo it. <laughs> Uh, brush his hair? No. Uh, dress it, it off. Didn't have hair. Take its clothes off. <laughs> dress it, dress I mean, it up. I don't know. <laughs> just clean it. <laughs> oh, clean it, right. Oh, that's basically shampoo it. Jesus, <laughs> it's in pain. <laughs> the next step is starting to take out the organs, and the first one mm. that you take out is the brain. But Luke, mm. what were the tools needed? Like, you can just name a couple. Uh, in order to get the brain out of people's heads. Spatula? Yes. Um, chisel? Yes. And spike? Sort of. Sp spiky, oh, uh, hook, it, a hook. Yeah. A hook. Yeah. A hook. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they kind of like break your nose a little bit. Yeah. And then they go in and go and then put it all out. <laughs> Whisk it all up, turn the head upside down, all pours out the nose. <laughs> the next stop, uh -huh. uh, step even, was removing the viscera, i.e. The, the organs inside the torso. Ew. But what was this step called? Evisceration? Yeah! And yeah, okay. that's where we get the term. Mm -hmm. Now, they put all of the bits and bobs mm. into... The bin. One <laughs> into special jars. Oh yeah. What are these jars called? Canopic jars. And what is on the top of them? C a canopy. Um, no. A cat. Sometimes well, a cat. Uh, Sometimes a cat. <laughs> and, uh, a face, an animal, a head, a lid. A lid. They've got to have a lid on them. A little likeness of 
their favourite servant. No. Nope. Little likeness of uh, their pet. No. Nope. Their loved ones. It's Egypt. What are there lots of? Uh, sands. <laughs> <laughs> Gods. Yeah. A god. Yeah. Specifically. Ra. No. Sekhmet. It's not one. Bastet. All the gods. It's a selection of gods. Yeah. Who look after what? The dead people. Hey. Yeah. The, oh, the gods. So de- oh, right. They are the face. various goddesses of the dead of that the look dead. after specific parts of. That's body what I was going to say and... first, but I <laughs> second guessed myself. Right. Yes. <laughs> what did they rinse out the body and cranial box with? <laughs> Ooh, cranial box. I can remember being told this on the tour. Yeah. And I remember Andy going, Ooh, cranial box, and nothing else. <laughs> the cranial box, once emptied. The cranial box. <laughs> uh, what, so it's what do you rinse out the, the body with? Yeah. Well, it's got to be something sort of disinfectanty, right? Yeah. And they didn't have bleach technology no. yet. Spirit? Sort of. Vodka? No. So sort of. Is um, it, it, it's to do with alcohol. I'll, I'll give you a wine. clue. Wine. Yeah. Palm. Palm oil. No. Palm. Palm wine. Yeah. What's that? I mean, <laughs> palm wine. <laughs> of course. They fill your head with wine. If you thought you weren't going to hear the phrase cranial box today, <laughs> Ptolemy is like, no. No. <laughs> palm wine with palm wine. <laughs> they put things inside the body as well. Just as a prank. Um, so what did, no, it's to make it, you know, you, as you said, to make it well seasoned. Oh. So um, what perfume and what spice did they put in like the belly stomach area? Cinnamon. Mm-hmm. I remember that from the tour. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's the spice. Mm-hmm. And then what was the other one? It's a, it's it's a, a perfume. A perfume. M- myrrh? Yay! Yay! The inside of the body was also rinsed with palm wine. Seems like a lot of waste of palm wine. Palmers filled the belly with pure myrrh, cinnamon. Ooh, and cinnamon. And pumpkin and spice. Shot. That's going to be one delicious mummy. Well done. Yes, I passed mummy school. <laughs> Ready wow. to make my first mummy. <laughs> Just need a corpse. Um, cool. Anyway, those are some questions about the modification process. As you said, you, you won mummy school. But one yeah. final question. Yes. We talked about the the god heads that go on the little canopic jars. Mm-hmm. But for 10 million bonus points. Whoa. Wow. Stakes just got pretty high. <laughs> which god yeah. was the god of both death and mummification? Oh no. The, I remember this in the tour. Ah. Well. I don't think it was Ra, mm. too obvious. Mm. I don't think it was... Oh, how many others do I know? Horus? No. Bastet? No. Sekhmet? No. I'm trying to remember cool. more from that film, The Prince of Egypt, you know, this in that song. <laughs> it's my only reference for the Greek gods. Um, Egyptian. Yeah, them. <laughs> Give me do, a you clue. Know, do you want clear? Yeah. Charades it for me. Worth. Dogs. The dog. Um. There's a lot of representations of him yeah. in Curse of the Pharaoh, and you fight them a lot. They're like dog-headed animals. Yeah, I can picture the one that you're talking about, the, mm-hmm. the Greek god that is the main uh, like soldier enemy in the movie Stargate. Anubis. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's how I got it. And Luke. Yeah. As a reward, <gasps> here's an Anubis mask. Yay! Just oh, the Ubisoft oh, game, so. Amazing. Wow. Uh, slight warning, that bit kind of digs in a bit. So no just, worries. just have fun with that. Don't worry about that. There we go. Ah, it's digging in. I wasn't warned. <laughs> how do I look? You know, it's terrifying. <laughs> terrifying? Do you think I could be terrifyingly a... good? Well, I keep this on for the rest of my life. Let's find out what you guys have been saying in, in the, the comments. comments. Last week, we got our hands on Nintendo's foldable cardboard Labo Toy Cons for the first time, and told you seven new things we learned from playing with these quirky construction kits. I would say that probably quite a lot of the enjoyment that I derived from mm-hmm. it was in just like sticking and gluing and <laughs> yeah. mess around with pipe cleaners. Commenter Sting Ray summed up how many of us were feeling Luke. Me. Nah, I'm too old for this kind of thing. 
also me. Crafting, sticking, playing, yay! <laughs> no, it's a sophisticated learning tool based on construction. <gasps> Space toys! I'll put glitter on it. I'll swear. We examine the cruel ways that we can't help trolling NPCs in games. You may well be tempted to really make sure you know your way around the controls by perfecting them on, oh, let's call this fellow Brian, shall we? R.I.P. Brian. Commenter Eve Clarou thinks she sees a trend, Luke. I think Andy just shoves every NPC possible. Seriously, I've watched a lot of the Let's Play Red Dead Redemption videos. Let's just say if I saw Andy walking towards me, I might be a bit concerned. Yeah, he really is freakishly strong. Oh, I'm sure you're just exaggerating, Luke. Meanwhile, in that same video, we proved that our attention spans are not always what they could be. Just because we might seem distracted doesn't mean we're not paying full attention. Wait, oh, hang on, where are we going? Who are we shooting? Ah, oh, it's fine, we'll pick it up on the way. Don't worry though, you've got our undivided attention. <laughs> Guess what, the bird's back. The bird! <laughs> Stephen Charbot showed his appreciation for that list, saying, what a great list. The bird! The bird! No, it was just Get a- out of my way. No! Wow, he is freakishly strong. Elsewhere on the channel. Last week's show saw Luke giving me a fair-themed quiz, in which I had to sing sweetly to the studio's native wildlife. And a big thank you to our woodland puppeteer, <laughs> Mike. Mike, yeah! Hooray! How's that spine, Mike? Pretty curved. <laughs> Pretty curved. <laughs> Commenter the sneezing Anuki was impressed with someone's willingness to help Ellen. Before this episode was filmed, Luke. Mike, we need your help for show of the weekend. Mike, what do you need me to do? Luke, crouch awkwardly behind the sofa and hold up plush toys. Mike, I'm in. Yeah, it was no trouble really. He's always back there. Hey, you guys nearly done? Because I need to take a shower. Where did I put that rubber duck? Well, that's the thing that happened. Finally, some of you noticed something unusual about Ellen's final singing challenge. You follow along okay. with Doom Guy's <coughs> song. <laughs> Wow, that was tough. <laughs> Mr. Squark was one such noticer who chimed in. Was Doom Guy's song the Jigglypuff song? Hey, well spotted. Man, I love that tune. Why don't we sing it more often? I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason, but I can't think of it right now. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Well, Luke, another show almost in the bag. Yep, just need to keep a straight face for another few seconds. Hey, I'm not a colossus. I'm not even that tall. You know what? This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to go across. Oh, right, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> should I go, go, should I go that way instead? Me. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're painting me like some giggling wreck, Luke, which hardly seems fair. It's really good, isn't it? It's so good. It's why he's looking up. He's like... Faithful, come faithful friend. <sighs> I play a feet when cats like come up to you and they're like, yeah, on your leg and you're like, he loves me. <laughs> it's really like cats. <laughs> I'm actually crying right now. <laughs> it's just tough when I try to foster a mature and serious environment is all. Cool. Yeah, great, James is happy. Yeah, Sweet. Quick, get the pastry. You look like a little soldier. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, buckets, tinfoil, <laughs> this thing, yeah. but everything on my head. Headgear. <laughs> I saw we call him Headgear Luke. He, he's all one for hats and all sorts like that. <laughs> Wait, okay. it didn't go on right. <laughs> you got, you got that. There, there we, go. we go. There we go. That's the I stuff. knew this would happen. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've already Cut. done that joke We're done. this week. We're I'm done. sorry. I'm so proud of Not it. Not the show. <laughs> I'm furious. <laughs> Can you tell I'm furious? No. <laughs> Well, well, well actually, I am. Anubis looks very angry. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode of Show of the Weekend, and I can't imagine why you wouldn't, uh, then uh, <laughs> why not subscribe if you haven't yeah. already? Ring the little bell, hit the yep. bell, and then you'll be told straight away whenever we upload a new video. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like video. It's always good to know what you thought. And let's know in the comments down below. Uh, just, just you know, how amazingly cool Luke looks in that mask. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we love hearing from you guys. So keep yeah. in touch. And we will see you next time. Thanks right, I'm going to take this off because it's hurting my eyes. <laughs>